Right now, officials at the Gateway vaccination site are administering the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. As we know, this comes after an 11-day pause on the one-shot dose. The federal government had been investigating 15 people who got the J&J shot that developed a highly unusual kind of blood clot out of nearly 8 million people. All 15 are women, most of them younger than 50. Three of them have died and seven remain in the hospital. News for Jack's reporter Brittany Muller joins us live this morning from Gateway Mall. Brittany, the site opened at 7, so about four minutes ago. What's it like there right now? Zach Jen, good morning. There's not a line right here on this Sunday morning, so you'll be able to just walk in and get your shot right now. And so Gateway Mall, as well as the other three federal sites in the state of Florida, have resumed using the Johnson and Johnson shot today, about four minutes ago, and they'll be able to give out and administer 3,000 doses per day. And joining me right now is Mark Brady with the Florida Division of Emergency Management. You can come over this way and thank you so much for joining us this morning. So let's talk about the Johnson & Johnson shot. What do you think the reaction will be from the community? Not sure about the community yet, but I can tell you here the staff here at Gateway were excited to be able to offer the, the Johnson & Johnson along with the Pfizer and we're really excited we're going to get extra shots in arms today. Now, if people are coming, we see some people uh, lining up right behind you. If they are hesitant and maybe have questions about getting the Johnson & Johnson shot, will there be staff here to be, an to be able to answer those questions? Absolutely. We have uh, medics from the U.S. Navy that are here, as well as some registered nurses that are on hand and can provide advice or guidance uh, to anyone coming in. Uh, the forms have been changed, the consent forms, to make sure that they understand completely there is a risk. Uh, but there's a bigger benefit than, a, than there is a risk. So uh, that's on the sheet, and we have personnel on staff to be able to talk to the people as well. And let's pull up that screening form where you can see the language has been changed because of the updated guidance from federal officials. What is that language right now? Well, as they go down the consent form and you check off different boxes, one of the boxes that has been added, it asks if you're a female between the ages of 18 and 49. And if you check yes, then there's going to be additional language about the risk involved with this uh, Johnson & Johnson. But again, as I said, the benefit far outweighs the, the risk. And if you still have additional questions about that, we have staff that can explain it to you. Mark, as you mentioned, the Pfizer shot will be able to be administered here for first doses. How long will that continue? Well, that remains to be seen. Uh, the original plan for these facilities was that uh, first doses would be allowed for a while, then second doses only, and then Johnson Johnson. Due to various changes with the, uh, the vaccines, that policy was changed to as now today, uh, and I, probably for a limited amount of days in, in the near future, we can offer first and second doses of Pfizer as well as the Johnson & Johnson. What about the mobile clinics? We know that's a, been a major part of the outreach. Will those sites be offering the Pfizer or the Moderna or Johnson & Johnson now? I can only speak for today. Today it looks like it's just going to be the Pfizer vaccine first and or second doses. Uh, but moving forward, we suspect that they will be receiving the Johnson & Johnson as well. Mark, thank you so much for joining us on the morning show. As you can see, the site open for the day. People are entering. They're able to either get their first dose of the Pfizer shot or the Johnson & Johnson shot. So we have all this information up online right now on newsforjacks.com. Reporting live this morning outside the Gateway Mall Vaccination Clinic, Brittany Muller, Channel 4, The Local Station.